We've got so much to talk about, but we're going to start off with Jamie Vardy, who's 36 years young today. Happy mm -hmm. birthday. How old are you? Are you older than 36? Yeah, 38. 38, OK, fine. 39, soon. Yeah, and I understand how numbers work. Um, <laughs> but we're um, we're going to talk about him. So I suppose that the, the first... I mean, listen, Jamie Vardy is, without doubt, a phenomenal striker. Mm. Right? He's been at Leicester since the 17th of May 2012, cost him £1 million from Fleetwood Town, right? Bargain, absolute bargain. You talk about some of the biggest bargains in Premier League history. You got Schmeichel for half a million, Cantona for one million. He's in that conversation sure. without a shadow of a doubt. And if you're if you're a kid and you're looking at an example of someone who developed late, got to the Premier League late, him, Ian Wright, they, they are the stories where mm. them them getting to the Premier League at mid twenties. A lot of people would have given up. I said my chance is gone. They kept going, finally got there, and well, we we saw what both Ian Wright and Jamie Vardy turned into. So yeah. if you talk about a child looking at someone as an example. There's one right there. He's got 134 goals in 238 games. Is he in the top 10 list of Premier League strikers of all time? He'd be, he'd be in mine. He's okay. in mine. Okay. I love Jamie Vardy, but I've written out a list of, I think, 10 better players, right? I'll read it quickly. Waza, Omri, Shearer, Aguero, Wright, Drogba, Van Nistelrooy, Van Persie, Kane, Owen, and Fowler, Andy Cole, Luis Suarez, Torres. I've written more than 10. Okay. I don't think he gets into the top 10. Well, now, see, I've got, I've got a 10 here that he gets into. I've got, I've got Thierry, Shearer, Rooney, Kane, Aguero, Ian Wright, Andy Cole, Owen, Drogba, and then Vardy. And I put, I put Vardy in for that reason, because if, if you go through some of his stats, I mean, there's one here that someone just dropped on my desk. Yeah. He's got 44 goals in 92 Premier League games against the top six. Amazing. So clearly he's not a flat-track bully. So against the top six, he scores one in every two. Every two. Amazing. So that, that's, on, and memories at Leicester. Yeah. A guy who played for Leicester, won them the Premier League. He's won a golden boot. He's got more goals than anyone at the age of 30 and above he's, oh, got, 100. Yeah. he's oh, got over 100 he's got he broke Van Nistelrooy's record 12 consecutive games in a row where he scored a goal uh, do you I mean, know what this is a stat I don't know if you know this one this is I think it's the most barking stat we'll, we'll say today right okay. over the last 10 years yeah. he's the highest ranked Englishman in the Ballon d'Or there you go another one and when he finished, Sorry, eight, higher, eight, higher eight. than Kane yeah. and in the last 10 years we've only had two mm. and that's Kane and Vardy yeah. only two Englishmen have ranked in the last 10 years of Ballon d'Or in the top 10 I think that's absolutely crazy. Bonkers. And the, the reason I put, like, there's people like Suarez and people going, because he was incredible for Liverpool, but I can't put him in there because he was here three years. Like, he was only here three years. And then, I know them three years, certainly one of them years was incredible. Which was it? Was it 11? No, it was 12, 13, where he scored 23 goals. I mean, he was okay. phenomenal. No, and, the, and the year after, he got 31. But, but you're not putting him in? No, three okay. years. Let, let me ask you this. Here's a massive question. So, so Leicester fans and football fans can answer this one. With his talent, mm -hmm. right, so if we are, if we are saying, and for me it's a flip of a coin, but for you it's not, it's a definite yes. It is for me, yeah. If we are saying he's in the top 10 Premier League strikers of all time, mm -hmm. right, with his talent, should he have gone to a bigger club and won more? Well, no, I, it, I'm not going to say underachieved, because if you stay at Leicester and win the league in the FA Cup, you can't underachieve. That's an overachievement at Leicester. But if you're talking about one of the top 10 strikers in Premier League history... Mm. And you look back at his career, and he's only, I know it's an only, I know it's more than Harry Kane, I get that. But you look at the other big names we've talked about, they've won copious amounts of leagues and FA Cups and maybe even Champions Leagues as well. Should he have won more? Should he have gone to a bigger club with his talent? We had the opportunity to go to Arsenal. I remember it was there on the table, they wanted to sign him, and he didn't. He stayed incredibly loyal to Leicester. Now, I wouldn't say he's underachieved, because with his talent and what he did in such a short space of time... I think he was in a perfect scenario. When the, when Arsenal came in for him, Arsenal played a different brand of football and he probably looked at that and went, well, Arsenal are, gonna, are not going to tailor the way they play for him. Mm. But everything for Leicester was geared towards him. So for me, I don't think he's he's underachieved. I think he's maybe overachieved considering how but late... But with his talent, you're saying overachieved at Leicester, I get that. But you look at N'Golo Kante, mm. right? Went on to much bigger and better things. Mm -hmm. Should he have done that? Listen, he could have done, but you, you talk about... And listen, I've spoke to a number of, of Leicester players they think he's the greatest player in Leicester's history. I agree. Right, but yeah, I'm sure if you'd have asked him, would he have gone on? But he might have gone to Arsenal and got wrapped up and not been the same Jamie Vardy. Yeah, true. But we, not, not I'm comparing, but I remember Franny Jeffers. Exactly. Was Leicester just and, ridiculous, went to Arsenal and it didn't happen. Didn't work. And that yeah. might have worked for him and he might have looked at that, but I mean, he's, he's stayed incredibly loyal to Leicester. It took about, what, three, he's had three Premier League seasons with 20 goals or more, which is phenomenal. He's won a golden boot. He's won, a, 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 he's won player of the month four times. Yeah, that's nice. So you would put him in your top He'd ten. He'd be in my top okay, ten. Okay, do you have you had your have you got your top ten numbered? Not numbered. Is he like number no. eight? I've got what I've got number one and then the rest. Okay, can you number them in the break? Uh, can you do that? I just want to know where you rank him. You might rank him seventh, oh, no, ninth. He's, he's ten. 
He's number 10. He's number 10. He's number 10. Number one is So Thierry you think Henry. Jamie Vardy is the 10th best Premier League striker of all time? He, he's in my okay. opinion. Now, there you go. There's uh, Darren Ben's views. He's in the top 10. For me, he's just outside it. But also, I want to know from you, has he under or overachieved with the talent he's got? He's at Leicester. Uh, underachieved? That's a big... But you look at other big names. Kante went on to win the Champions League. He went to a much bigger club. Hey, but under... Not, he came into the scene late, Vardy, so I don't think he could ever underachieve. Well, that's the question I'm asking. I haven't got the answer. Is Kane underachieving? Uh, yeah, massively, yeah. Well, one of the best strikers well, in world football. Shearer won one Premier League title. Shearer underachieved with his talent. He's got 260 Premier League goals, and yeah. you're telling me Alan Shearer underachieved. underachieved. For medals, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, without a doubt. You don't think so? Not underachieved. What the, what, the greatest Premier League striker of all time yeah. has one medal? That's an underachievement. It's a backhanded compliment, right? You should have won much more. Oh, wow. Well. There you go. That's where we're going. That's going to be interesting. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.